Ladies and gentlemen, the moment has arrived for new revelations about OpenAI Strawberry, so stick with me as long as you can because in the first part of the video, I'll talk about the coolest new details of Strawberry, and in the second part, I'll tell you about an impressive new potential flagship model from OpenAI. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comments and all the cool stuff I'm about to share with you. Let's get into it. So there's been a flood of new information about OpenAI's latest model, along with some intriguing details about a highly secretive project known as Orion. And now I'll break down everything you need to know, including some aspects that might have slipped under the radar. So this article from The Information sheds light on the strawberry model because it's providing key insights that might have been missed. And it begins by noting that as OpenAI seeks additional funding, they're gearing up to launch a new AI product believed to excel in reasoning through complex problems, far surpassing the capabilities of current AI, which sounds very interesting to me. What's particularly interesting is the impending release of Strawberry, which, you know, was previously referred to as QSTAR. And basically, this launch could potentially build on ChatGPT with a possible release window as early as the fall, likely in November, unless other major players like Google or Anthropic push OpenAI to move faster. So Strawberry is designed to tackle unseen math problems, which is something current chatbots struggle with. And remember, folks, it's not just limited to technical queries because Strawberry is what OpenAI calls a reasoner, trained to handle complex challenges, which will enhance the capabilities of other models. Now, if you remember, reasoners is the second of the five levels of AGI outlined by OpenAI. Right now with AIs like GPT-4, we're at the first level. Then the article also mentioned how, given more time to process, Strawberry can answer more subjective questions like those related to product marketing strategies. And this method, known as test time compute, suggests the model uses additional time or different approaches to generate more accurate responses. Then, folks, and this is very interesting, Strawberry has demonstrated impressive language skills because OpenAI employees have shown how it can solve complex word puzzles like the New York Times Connections, where players must group related words and current LLMs, including Claw 3.5 Sonnet, struggle with such tasks. And this obviously highlights Strawberry's superior capabilities. Now, this is crucial, folks, because if Strawberry can solve these complex puzzles with ease, it highlights just how advanced its reasoning capabilities are compared to what's currently available. And you can see from the examples that while other models fumble, Strawberry seems to handle these tasks with much better accuracy, which is pretty fascinating when you think about where these models are in terms of raw capability. Then we also have more insights on Strawberry and its connection to AI agents, because the article mentions that launching Strawberry is part of OpenAI's ongoing effort to stay ahead of well-funded rivals in the race for dominance in conversational AI. And this has significant implications for future AI products known as agents, which are designed to handle multi-step tasks. So basically, the main hurdle in developing reliable AI agents is ensuring that they don't make mistakes, especially during complex tasks that involve a sequence of actions. Because if the AI messes up early on, it can derail the entire process, just like how a simple mistake in a recipe can ruin a cake. And basically, Strawberry aims to solve this by providing the reliability needed to ensure that each step is completed correctly and... This obviously makes it a key player in the development of trustworthy AI agents. Now, let's talk about the juiciest and most interesting part of the video, Orion. It seems that OpenAI's future success hinges on the eventual launch of this new flagship model, codenamed Orion, which aims to surpass GPT-4. Because, you know, even though GPT-4 was a major breakthrough, competitors like Anthropic have since caught up and some models now perform at its level or even better. Basically, Orion won't be a regular upgrade to GPT-4 because it will represent a significant evolution in its reasoning capabilities. So, and this is worth taking note of, Orion was hinted at last year when a Twitter user known as Jimmy Apples tweeted, let's conquer the cosmos, mood, curious Jimmy, with an image of the Orion constellation in November 2023. And 
While this might seem random at the time, it turns out that this account has a history of accurately hinting at OpenAI developments months before they happen. And this suggests that Orion has been in the works for a while and we're just now starting to see the first details emerge. As for Strawberry, it's still unclear whether a chatbot version of it designed to enhance GPT-4 and ChatGPT will be released this year. And basically, the smaller version mentioned in the article known as Distillation is intended to offer the same performance as the full Strawberry model, but in a more efficient and cost-effective form. So OpenAI seems to be working on making this distilled version as powerful as possible, possibly integrating it into existing models to boost their reasoning abilities beyond what's currently available. Now, I want to briefly explain the concept of distillation, which is becoming increasingly common in the AI field, to clear up any doubts that you might have. So according to Google's blog, most fine-tuned large language models are packed with enormous numbers of parameters, and this makes them resource intensive to generate predictions. However, a lot of these parameters aren't even necessary for specific jobs. So basically what happens during distillation is that a smaller version of a large language model is created, which generates predictions much faster with fewer resources. The catch? The distilled model's predictions aren't quite as accurate as those from the full model, and it's noted that large models with more parameters usually deliver better predictions. It seems OpenAI is leveraging this distillation process to bring some of Strawberry's key reasoning abilities to a broader audience, and this might be released on top of GPT-4, potentially making it even more competitive. Then, what's interesting here is that GPT-5 isn't even mentioned in this context, and I guess this suggests that what we're discussing might be separate from GPT-5 entirely. So it looks like we're going to see a variety of models, including an advanced GPT-4 and possibly Orion, in addition to GPT-5, and distillation might even be used in a chat-based product before Orion is fully rolled out, which makes sense given the intensifying competition among top AI developers. One idea is that Strawberry's enhanced reasoning could be incorporated into ChatGPT, but this would result in slower, though more accurate, responses. Because when a model tackles more complex questions, it naturally takes more time to think through the problem, much like a human would. Anyway, with no clear release date for GPT-5, I wouldn't be surprised if OpenAI integrates a distilled version of Strawberry into the current ChatGPT just to maintain its lead in the LLM's arena. Because OpenAI is known for wanting to stay at the top, and this benchmark basically serves as a key indicator of where the best models currently stand. And, you know, Strawberry might not be ideal for applications requiring instant responses like OpenAI Search GPT engine, but it's perfect for more sensitive use cases where accuracy is crucial, like fixing non-critical coding errors in GitHub. So this model is slower, but far more precise, making it ideal for areas where accuracy trumps speed. That's why we have models like Google's Flash or GPT-40 Mini for quick responses where precision is less critical. However, when dealing with more complex reasoning tasks, accuracy becomes the priority, especially in programming and other sensitive areas. Then folks, what's really fascinating is the mention of synthetic data and how there are actually two versions of Strawberry, because the larger version of Strawberry, which is OpenAI's secret model, is apparently being used to generate training data for Orion. And obviously, the implications of this are huge, because Essentially, Strawberry could help OpenAI overcome the challenges of obtaining enough high-quality real-world data by generating synthetic data, which is crucial for training new models. This use of the synthetic data could be a game-changer, particularly in overcoming the limitations that current models face when relying solely on real-world data like text or images from the internet. For this reason, one potential future limitation for AI could be the so-called data wall. But in reality, this might not be as big of an issue as some have predicted because, for starters, we have synthetic data which helps bypass the data wall and while some people talk about model collapse, where models trained on synthetic data eventually degrade, this isn't a major concern, especially if the data is filtered through a high-quality AI model or even a human. 
Another important point is that we haven't exhausted all the data currently available. And what's fascinating here is that the raw version of the strawberry model is large enough to generate high quality reasoning examples that can be used for training other AIs because high quality data is essential for models to succeed in reasoning tasks and produce top notch outputs. And the fact that Strawberry is generating training data for Orion speaks volumes about its reasoning capabilities as it's basically helping build the next generation of AI models. So one of the goals with Strawberry is also to reduce hallucinations in AI because using Strawberry to generate high quality training data could lower the number of errors or hallucinations that models typically produce. Just imagine a model that gets a logic puzzle right on the first try because there's less ambiguity in its training data. Basically, reducing hallucinations could significantly boost AI adoption since these errors currently limit the use of AI in applications where high reliability is crucial. Then, something else that caught my attention is that OpenAI demonstrated the story model to national security officials, which indicates just how advanced this model truly is. If Strawberry is generating training data for smaller models like Orion and is considered a key player in OpenAI's lineup, it's clear this model is on a whole new level and demonstrating unreleased technology to government officials could set a new standard for AI developers, especially as advanced AI increasingly becomes a national security concern. Okay, folks, let's wrap this up. Basically, Strawberry, previously known as QSTAR, is a new AI model focused on improved reasoning capabilities. And it's not only capable of solving complex problems, but is also being used to generate training data for other models like Orion, which is set to be the next major release. And while GPT-5 isn't mentioned directly, Orion appears to be the next step beyond GPT-4, with Strawberry playing a crucial role in its development. So I guess OpenAI is clearly working on multiple models to maintain its lead in the AI space and Strawberry is honing reasoning while Orion is shaping up to be the next flagship model. And with both the distilled version of Strawberry possibly integrating into ChatGPT and the raw version excelling at reasoning, OpenAI seems to be miles ahead of the competition right now. So it's going to be fascinating to see what they roll out next. All right, folks, leave a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'd really appreciate it. And as always, see you in the next one, folks. You all take care.